Thank you all for tuning in to another part of Mafia Definitive Edition, part two with me, Aesthetics Jamon. I hope you guys are having a great day, and let's just get right back into the game, shall we? Molotov Hi, party. What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas grills hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. Oh, let's go. No one right. else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. I love these graphics, but like, the it looks guy. so great. I don't know what, what I was gonna say. Helping him out. Find anything good? Yeah, I. Uh, you don't lose I'm your watching. Job that easy. Got it. I, I get hate it. Sitting around, boring as hell. If the boss says you're not ready to come out on collections, what can you do? I don't get what his problem is. Prohibition is here to stay. Kiamu. Vita sister, ricordi? Ah, si. Come back later. With Paul or Sam. The bars are closed. For you, I'm afraid. Dang. Shush. Anyways, <coughs> I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll All take right. you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any, uh... Heavy lifted. We make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. That's such a freaking gorgeous car, holy crap. Bagona <coughs> Vitenzo! Ciao, Polly! Oh, she's gonna sing! <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelou. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh! If the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Yes. Be careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good to meet you, Todd. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Definitely will do, sir. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. <laughs> I don't get how this moron gets interested in her. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Hey, 
genius! <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck, dear Polly? You can't, can't, can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> See, see, you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 sure Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a cracked egg. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across to the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> one day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Rouse trying to Dang. pull, giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Stig's a tin cab! So, is that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep, new supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. The cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay, so long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, if you want a bottle, just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Uh, yes, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but... Not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. The us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. There's tables, there's food, there's skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to send fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. Dude, some of these cars are just insanely gorgeous. Again on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Kind of crazy Not to play really. a game like this. There's like always some give and some classic. take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in a wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Hey, hey oh it's their cars we're wrecking today, not this junker. Okay, it's close by. Smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. <coughs> Put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. <laughs> He's like, I'm just waiting for the bullet to hit you. Okay. I know how to go quiet, right? Jobs. Yeah, like that. Yeah, he's got his main guys. You'll get there That's so day. weird. They get to sneak in this. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. <laughs> Over this gate. 
sneaking up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump from behind. You're good at distracting us. Ah, boss gets plenty of guys thing. in the city real pissed. Make some careful. Hey, what the hell are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? What? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town trying to give Morello a black eye. And just like that, you got it. <laughs> oh, that was quick. I like that. Now let's get to these cars. <clears throat> Take your bat and start swinging. Oh, that's weird. All right. Look on these guys' faces, it's gonna be priceless. No one's driving them again. Oh, crap. Hey, get away from the car. Back in down time. Ooh, gonna let you got some kind of... Suck. Let's go. Come on, Tom, quick. There's gonna be more of them. Use a Molotov and let's see some flames. Love your oh, work. gosh. They're gonna explode, dude. Use the bat to finish him off. <laughs> we gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? I'm gonna know where you keep oh, oh, hell yeah. And we can take Let's go. Oh, right here the best place. Place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! There Don't let him get away! Drive! Come back, you Drive. bastards! Oh, oh shit. Fuck. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? You lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Oh. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Guys, you really Tom. suck at driving in this. Drive. Sorry, they got used. Got rid of them. What the hell? Okay, we lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. I like how they teach you: stay out of sight, like Grand Theft Auto. Drive safe. They're still looking for us. We're good. Let's head back and see the boss. Yes, sir. I thought Silieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How'd it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. No time Don't like really the first time, me. Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? There's life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking a question. Drive careful, oh we don't need God. the attention. Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. Never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Get into a car? What? I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more 
connections. Your brother, or your uncle, or... Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. A b -b better car with a b -b broken window? Russia ain't never killed nobody. <laughs> That's kind of true, though. He's still with you then. Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. There's a lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Let's go. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. All right, I think that was mission three. Molotov party completed. Ordinary routine. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on, I got <laughs> and what did paint. I know? Finish, yo. You Tommy? Come on, this few yeah. gas in your tank. Get Boss is waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks. Right. I love the outfits, oh my gosh. There he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. 
bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, oh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Hey, just the guy. Hey, I just saw the this. Guy. And I thought of you. What is that? A gun. Thanks, bro. Oh, I really needed that. A rat. Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good posture. Real mean. Now, click, click, click. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay. Now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. All right. Last thing. That was quick as hell. What the hell? Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. Got I appreciate you. it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Vinny. Thank you. You guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost his... You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon, <laughs> to f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. Oh. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Yeah, this, he's kind of nice to him. Come on, Tita Tommy. B -b Bring me something g -g good to work on, huh? Have a good day, little fellas. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. Took what? forever yeah, to know. What the Al's hell? Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. The city is so freaking gorgeous. <laughs> I also love the music, it's so relaxing. Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha! Not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. <laughs> That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Real I just got any good. trouble around here? Any punk? Punk's causing problems. No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. 
It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. Where's the money? It's on the table, brown envelope. She better not hit me with anything. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom, huh? I just saw her. I think she's doing pretty good besides cussing me out in Italian. Up, we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Talo. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy who used to run this next place, Tom? His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. Drift in this game, it's actually this really is it. satisfying. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Sure, I'm sure. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own, she gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Oh my god, he's all breaking stuff in there. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. Oh my gosh, he's just breaking everything in there. Oh, here he I comes. Know. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And eh, nothing he can't scrub out. Edmund Once he's Tools back on his feet. Stock and know -how required to tackle any job that could come up. Both at oh, come out with us again, Tom. Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, 
We've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam, right? You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Dude, this is a big world. Holy crap. I thought it was just a city. Jesus. I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive.